Welcome back to Biafra News Support Biafra at Biafra here. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you. Depending on where you're watching me from, Biafra's lovers of freedom, people of goodwill, I bring you update on the Biafra self-referendum convention going on in Finland and a video of Biafran Prime Minister presenting to more than 70 million Biafrans the whole world the Biafra National Identity Card. The explanation there is uh, it's mind-blowing. Like the way the national Biafra National Identity Card works it's it's mind blowing like the enemies will not be able to have a copy of it this is the reason they are scared of us because i'm a i'm a the kind of blessing talent the wisdom elohim bestowed on us you need to watch this very video you need to watch all the Today is also the day Biafra Prime Minister will launch Biafra Liberation Army and Biafra Resistance Fighters. You need to watch this very video. It's very, very important. I was smiling, firstly, when I was watching it. The whole world is shaking. The whole world is shaking. So before I continue, I would like to welcome all the new and old subscribers. If you're coming across my channel for the first time, please kindly click the red subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell to enable you get notification once I upload a new video. Don't forget to share, like, leave your comments at the comment section and please tune in once you get notification. So, dear friends, today is 21st October 2023, the second Day of the Biafra Self-Referendum Convention in Finland, also known as Biafra Helsinki Convention. As freedom is coming. Hmm? The gate signifies security of the territory. You must pass through a gate to enter a nation check point. Dear friends are going home. The world is feeling the heat. The enemies are, are, are panicking. They are crying in, in shame. Because they never believed it. So let me, without talking too much, because I will bring you more update. And please tune in. I don't know what has been going on since yesterday, dear friends. We keep bringing you update. I know many of us are watching it, right? But also tune in. Because we will keep bringing the update. Thank you. And may Elohim continue to guide and protect our Prime Minister, Mazi Simonetwa, and genuine dear friends all over the world. I am, I am filled with joy. Seriously. I'm overjoyed. Seeing all of this. Elohim is solidly behind us. So that is it, dear friends. I will stop here. Don't forget to share, like, leave your comments at the comment section. Thank you all. God bless, dear friends, all over the world. It's a, it's a, it's a. Thank you all. Those who have been appointed or voted into by the delegation of the Biafra from all over the world today in Finland know that to whom much is given, much is expected. It is a call to service. The service is not an ordinary service. It's a struggle and a liberation. It's a face of the liberation of Biafra. It requires guts. When they say stop, that is when you should be moving. Freedom fighting is not something you use bread and butter to fight. You fight with stone. And I'm happy that I have a stone heart. I said, everything I am doing and everything I have done, I will stand to defend it anywhere, any day, any time. You know, I do not know why we are different. Our natural resources is not subjected to scrutiny. They are not subjected to all manner of international agreement. They are not subjected to visa. They travel all the way from Biafra land all over the world visa free. The worst part of this slavery of the Biafra people is that why the British at Britain benefiting from our natural resources, using it to build their own country, they subject us to all manner of degrading treatment. We undergo the worst process to acquiring a visa to travel to the United Kingdom. Those who don't benefit anything 
or who they don't benefit anything from. They have visa free to United Kingdom. I am telling you, in Biafra, we are going to use what we have for the best interest of Biafra citizens. I want you to understand that Europe needs us more than we need them. America needs us more than we need them. And because we understand the value of whom we are, those people who parade themselves as leaders today in the evil entity called Nigeria don't understand this value because they were never created for the interest of the people. It is now official that Biafra has a de facto government. They will take every activities as a normal government. We are going to tax Biafra people for Biafra liberation. The government will take responsibility for that. The Biafra government, the facto government in the homeland will run a very transparent government we have a government receipt. So whatever you do, it is going to be very, very transparent. And another thing is that we can't have a crime-free society without a database. So for that reason, from the charter of the Biafra Confederating State, I am presenting to you today the National Identity Card and database of Biafra. Biafra Republic! We are building our country from scratch. What you see here today is something that will go down in the history. When Singapore, South Korea started their journey. It was in a restaurant. They started the journey of South Korea in a restaurant. Today, many people are trooping into that country for a better life. Biafra is going to be the beginning of civilization in Africa. I have, lived, I have lived in Finland for a very long time. And I promised Biafrans one thing. I am bringing Finland to Biafra land. Yeah. 
to eliminate crime, yes. to eliminate forgery, yes. to eliminate corruption, yes. we need database. Yes. And that's what is happening here. This ID card is going to be facial recognition. The Biafra government in exile has contracted one of the world leading identity management company called Jumio. On that note, because the charter of Biafra has been activated, I am presenting to Biafra people today the Biafra Security Administration. The Biafra Security Administration is the portal, is a website, and, and a department within the Biafra Republic government in exile that is responsible for the issuance of national identity card. The national identity card of Biafra is going to be verified using Jimio facial recognition. What it means, what it means is that as we are progressing in our quest for freedom, we are laying a very strong foundation demonstrating to those doubting Thomas. That's Mwame Togo. We are no longer, Obi is not a boy, Obi is a boy. With this, if you have a fake ID card and you want to apply for Biafra ID card, Jumio facial recognition will not verify you. The reason, the reason the Biafra government want to lay this foundation is to prove to the world that we are not part of fraudulent Nigeria. We are not part of Nigeria that live on fraud. We are not part of Nigeria that their president will forge American university certificate. We are not part of Nigeria where a president will be admitted into university as a woman and graduated as a man. As a Biafran, as a Biafran, once your identity is recognized and documented using the Jimio facial recognition, it can never be changed until you die. Yeah. And I want to tell you one thing today. The reason why Finland is a very strong and crime-free country is because of database. Yeah. I have copied from them. While many criminals from Nigeria are traveling abroad to go and defraud foreigners, we, the Biafrans, are traveling to come and learn so we can go back to develop ourselves. So the process is this. The ID card will be issued at this point in two locations. One, the Biafra Republic government in exile headquarters in the United States. And the Biafra Republic government office in Finland. We are going to gradually extend the issuance to other countries, the liaison offices in other countries. But for now, we start with these two countries, Finland and the United States. The process, the process of application is to validate 
the document and the ID card issued to you by your country of residence. So if you are residents in the United States, you have an ID card issued to you by the United States government. So what Biafra government does is to validate your ID card using that particular United States issued uh, uh, ID card. In doing that, because we are yet to declare Biafra and to have a sovereignty state. So we are now banking on the already existing document issued by a legitimate government where you live. And also, because of the security of Jumio, if you forge any country identity card in order to use it to apply, Jumio will detect it. And you will not be able to get that particular. So what we are trying to do is to lay this foundation to understand that anywhere in the world you present a document, ID card from Biafra Republic Government in exile, it will be respected. They will know that. They will know that it has, it has undergone the same rigorous security check, just like them, because the Jumio is involved. Now, I know some of uh, the people in the zoo will not understand what we are doing. They are primitive people. And they will remain primitive. We are not just in Europe to make a living. We are in Europe to develop ourselves and make sure that we affect life back home. And we are doing that. So today, we are officially presenting the Biafra National Identity Card to the Biafra people. And when you look at it, you find out there is the Biafra Liberation Army logo. There is the Star of David. Can never be taken away from us. It is a sign of the covenant of God. You see, during the time when Nigeria was fraudulently formed, the flag of Nigeria had Star of David. But those who are killing us today, they removed it. Nobody complained. Which means our identity has been removed. Yet, we did not complain. As if that was not enough. They begin to change the demography of our own geographic area. Today, when you talk, they brag about you are from the Southeast. Southeast was not in existence 50 years ago. But the Nigeria state with the Dundees, the Lodos, the Tiboribos from the Southeast. The only thing they care of is how to make money. We are not just about making money, we are about living in peace. It is now, we are now, on, we have come to under, understand and realize that life is not all about money. We choose peace over money. We, we, also, we also choose freedom over money. And that is why somebody like me rejected everything offered to me. They did not even approach me to even offer, but I heard, and I know from the right source, that they are offering themselves whatever to drop their fragitation. I want you all to understand, we have sacrificed a lot. We have taken a lot of bullet. Not only that we have taken enough bullet, what we are doing is for history's sake. I did not join this Biafra movement to make money. I joined this Biafra movement to make a name. And the name I want to make is a name that you are going to be reading, your children will be reading it in the history and say, Simon Ekpa is one of those that liberated Biafra. This convention, this convention may never happen again. The next one will be in Biafra and after Biafra Declaration.
you know, when we were telling them what we we're about to do, they thought it was a joke. They were stealing the idea. They begin to do the NIA, whatever they do, NIS or whatever. They were stealing our idea. It will never work because a 40 foundation remains a 40 foundation. So that is why. I love you too. I love you too. Thank you, thank you. So, please, when you live here and go back to your res respective countries, start to apply for your national identity card. Yes. Those of you in the United States, I want to sound it very, very clear today. I am pro-Trump. Because, please, I am pro-Trump. I know many of you will not like it. But let me tell you, let me tell you one thing. Those who identify with us, we will identify with them. And I'm telling you, Trump team have identified with us, officially. So, we are, not, we are not relying on Trump or his administration to give us freedom. But the closer we get, the better to us, for us. This is just a side talk. Why I'm saying this is that everybody in the United States must register to the Biafra database. It's very important. We need a number. So if you go back, spread the news with your communities that they need to identify themselves with the Biafra Republic government in exile as we start to build our database system, which Africa don't have, Nigeria don't have. So as small as we are, according to the dot in the circle they called us, we are now beginning to move mountain. We will do big, big things. I thank you all. Welcome to Biafra!